Hi everyone, this is me again, Ma'am Tarabana, your guidance counselor. So today, we shall have the continuation of our discussion for our module 15 for you, my dear grade 9 students. Okay, so we are now in our module 15. So we already had our first part of the discussion. So today, we shall have the continuation of your module 15, which is entitled, Getting to Know the World of Work. So, uh... Mm, doon na tayo sa keep in mind okay so we are done with uh, with the introduction with the review and let's try this and even the let's explore this so we shall proceed to uh, this part which is the discussion part of the module so suggested time allotment is 45 minutes so before you watch this video, I hope that you were able already to watch the first part of our discussion. So today, again, we will be talking about your career. Since you are already a grade 9 student, it is, it is a must that you already know, um, you already have these careers in mind. So you are already planning your future career. Now, let's begin. In your previous activity entitled, Mga Dakilang Manggagawa ng Bawat Dekada, you learned from your list of identified workers per decade that there were jobs that were preferred due to changing time. So, in that particular activity, you were able to discover diba, the different uh, jobs in every era or in every decade. Now, we witnessed a uh, modification of work conditions as a result of this pandemic. We found that entrepreneurship no longer demanded the entrepreneur and his or her client to have a face-to-face -face interaction because one's own business can now be launched online. So, di ba, napaka-uso na ngayon ng mga online transactions, online businesses. So, you don't have to meet your clients face to face you just have to uh, transact online so yun ang kagandahan din ng uh, ng pandemic dahil talagang nabigyan tayo nito ng opportunity even sa mga even ng mga clients na malalayo ay kaya na nating ma reach out di po ba so because of this technology of course because of this online world now technology initiated arrangements also proved more useful than ever during a crisis situation as it minimized the contraction of health risk now more than ever the world felt the need for health workers online entrepreneurs delivery people food growers and producers virtual teachers social media lawyers and among others as you notice during this pandemic there are so many jobs that emerged so many new jobs has cr been created um and uh, uh, aside sa may mga nawala di po ba pero marami din ang mga na create na trabaho during this pandemic especially na lahat ng mga almost all of the jobs are being made online di ba it's being conducted online now there are also so many jobs uh, aligned to this particular uh, field like for example yan may mga we we already acknowledge the importance of a uh, of uh, online uh, teachers right so we need uh, we need this uh, um entrepreneurs online uh, mga health workers and all so jobs that are currently being preferred by employers and employees alike are those that are connected with Technology and those that offer flexible working hours, work from home, or alternative work arrangements. So due to this pandemic, we just so we want our health to be protected, right? So karamihan sa atin mas gusto yung mga um, work from home set up, right? Even the employers also wants an employee na marunong sa technology because uh, we would uh, of course prefer to work from home and have this um, alternative work arrangements so let us not be surprised accordingly if there are new or unfamiliar jobs that are slowly coming about in this time of transition so there are so-called emerging jobs such as a content creator data scientist design engineer social media analyst 
mobile app developer, drone engineer, and among others. So I think for you, this might sound familiar, right? Because these are all the so-called emerging jobs. So uh, dahil na nga sa present situation natin because of this pandemic, so we have these different kinds of jobs. So just try to imagine being a content creator. Do you want to be a content creator? Do you want to be a data scientist, design engineer, name it. So everything that is connected, internet or connected to technology that is already part of this emerging jobs. Now, however, it is not enough that you become familiar with preferred careers. Now, it is also important to, for you to know about work standards. So now, now, aside from knowing the different careers emerging now, right, emerging during this time of pandemic, it is also important that you know what are the standards being set in a particular career or, not, or in a particular job. So now, we shall be discussing the different work standards. So listen carefully, this is very important. It is often thought that career should be classified to match the skills and performance of the individual. But in fact, classification decision should be, should, should be made on the basis of the work requirements and standards of the role and not the person performing the role. So again, let me emphasize this part that classification decisions should not be made basis as the requirements and standards of the role and not the person performing the role. Now, work standards describe the distinctive features of work based on the following. So we have here three work standards that we have to remember. So we have the broad job requirements, key duties, and responsibilities. Now, do you know the um, duties and responsibilities of a particular job? Now, the knowledge and skills required of the role. So, uh, kailangan alam din natin kung ano yung mga kailangan mga skills and knowledge in a particular job or role and the functioning context and characteristic that describe effective performance now in making career choices you should uh, first consider gathering information about the work standards of the different careers now it is very must for us to know first the work standard of a particular career because this allows you to reflect and compare your present skills abilities and values to the requirements needed in your chosen career. Now, for instance, if your goal is to become a teacher accordingly, you should first obtain information on the job specification and qualification as well as the duties and responsibilities which your chosen career demands. Now, uh, how are we going to know this? Definitely by means of uh, researching, reading, asking a professional, asking someone who is already in the field. Now, that, that those are only some ways of knowing the, the of course, the pros and cons, the, the details about a particular career. Now, having this knowledge can help you identify the different aspects that you need to further develop in order to meet your chosen career's work standards. So furthermore, this will encourage and push you to, so we have here three, this will encourage you and make you more the um, set standards for excellence, right? So you know kung ano yung mga kailangan mong gawin for your own, right? Establish high standards of performance for yourself and work procedures to achieve a high level of quality and productivity. And you will know, um, you will have this ability to ensure high quality, which means you will be more dedicated. Uh, you will dedicate, I mean, efficient time and energy to task or goals to ensure that uh, no aspect of the career planning and preparation is neglected. Work to overcome obstacles, completing tasks and goals and you'll be able, able to take responsibility, which means you will accept responsibility for outcomes. Like, it can be a negative or positive outcome. 
now um, you will be able to admit mistakes and refocuses efforts when appropriate so that is what we mean by work standard okay and it is also a must for us to know this global information now in the midst of uh, the global health crisis brought by COVID-19 countries from across the globe will experience economic setbacks of varying varying levels now these economic setbacks will have will have uh, of course serious implications in the global and national job market so it is wise for every potential employee like yourself to prepare wisely for global competitiveness and excellence so these are only some of the important things that we have to remember right that during this COVID-19 pandemic, definitely, so marami din yung mga naging effect nito economically, right? So mar marami mga serious implications, uh, maraming uh, mga naging uh, changes uh, na apektuhan nito ang job markets, even then global and national job markets, right? And definitely, it also affect an employee, a potential employee like yourself. Now, it is a must for us, of course, to prepare for this, how are we going to be globally competitive and, of course, excellent. Now, with the keenness of our leaders towards good government governance, there are indeed uh, brighter uh, prospects for the Philippines and even brighter prospects for investors. Now, as you prepare for the jobs of the future, you will be required to be adaptive and, uh, of course, gain vocational training to ensure that you are trained with the right skills and you will be placed in jobs locally or abroad now most most importantly please do not forget also to retrain yourself like train again okay reskill okay or upskill for the new jobs of tomorrow before the jobs of today will disappear so this is a way of preparing ourselves to be fitted, to be globally competitive, right? Especially with the emergence of new jobs here and abroad. Now, we have to, again, retrain ourselves. So, undergo a lot of trainings. You can have this training online. You can reskill yourself or, or gain more skills, right? Undergo a lot of trainings skill training and upskill upgrade upgrade yourself now this is how we fit to this new era of jobs now we also have here micro a micro small and medium enterprise or msme development plan for 2017 2022 in case you don't know this now uh, this of course this data is coming from the department of trade and industry or dti now, this is a sectoral plan. Now, uh, again, MSME or Micro, Small, and Medium Enterprise Development Plan is a sectoral plan or a long-range plan adopted by our government and prepared by the Department of, Department of Trade and Industry. Now, it developed in consultation with various uh, stakeholders and crafted for micro- small and medium entrepreneurs with the striving vision to make these enterprises grow advance and become more globally competitive now we have here of course the seven m's of uplifting msmes this is actually part of the duterte administration's economic agenda to empower the marginalized sectors and to boost the aptitude of filipinos as smart entrepreneurs now, marginalized sectors are those that are being given less importance in the economic arena or are being excluded for some reason. Now, the MSME Development Plan of 2017-2022 hopes to give marginalized sectors great opportunities in various businesses. Now, what are the seven M's for the MSME development? We have here Mindset Change mastery mentoring money machine market access and models of negotiable so we let's have first this one 
Number one is about mindset change. Now, uh, mindset change, change means embracing the right and positive entrepreneurial attitude that will carry you through your vibrant entrepreneurial journey. Okay, so uh, definitely before starting a business or putting up a business, you really have to have this mindset change wherein you have to know or you have to embrace diba? Um, the, the positive attitude as an entrepreneur. So you have, must have this positive outlook that regardless of uh, the difficulties um, you can meet or you can uh, come across the way while putting up your business, you still have this positivity or mindset that you will be able to go through with this. And of course, we have this mastery. Now, mastery means master the know-how and how-tos of ma- entrepreneurship. This, is a, this, of course, uh, a big yes. You ha- must have this mastery. And uh, aside from that, the number three, we have mentoring. It means to say that continuous business guidance and partnership with the industry experts. Now, uh, through... Um, of course, the help of, uh, of others who are already in the field for some time, quite some time. So, they will mentor the small businesses or the new, new ones. And of course, money. Definitely, it means to say you must have this um, puhunan, okay? Or uh, access to funding through Department of Trade and Industries um, P3. Okay, which means pondo sa pagbabago at pag-asenso microfinance. Now, uh, of course, may isa itong parte ng programa ng DTI wherein they give this fund or pondo or puhunan sa mga nagsisimula pa lamang na mga microfinance or mga small business, um, small businesses. And number five, machine. So, equipment and right tools to ensure quality production. And we have this number six market access you this is to promote your product through trade fairs retail stores exhibits and link your business to big companies or to um, government and of course the models of negotiation which is the last one of the seven years of msme development which means different business um, ideas to help you get into business form from traditional enterprises to direct selling and franchising so this is um, an effort of our government to of course under a Duterte administration to help um, people uh, put up their own business by of course giving them assistance through this um, MSME development plan now as you start thinking about one or more potential educational and career paths here are things to remember in the days ahead so, ito ang mga kailangan nating tandaan. If you are already thinking about uh, uh, um, enrolling in a particular college course, choosing, uh, specifically choosing a strand and track, and uh, definitely looking uh, for a career. So, these are the things that you have to remember in the days ahead. Number one. You have to take time to think about what you like to do, dream, and imagine ideal careers. Now, these are basic, right? So, kailangan talagang alam natin kung ano ba talaga yung gusto mong gawin, ano ba yung gusto mong, ano ba yung pangarap mo, at ano ba yung ideal mo, okay? Ano ba yung mga ideal careers mo? So, doon naman talaga laging nagsisimula ang lahat, ba? So, there are so many opportunities, so many different types of careers, in a wide variety of industries. Napakarami nating industries at uh, kada industry nag-o-offer ito ng napakaraming careers. And there are also other career paths that are just emerging or ito yung mga uh, nagsisimula pa lamang or dahil na nga sa need ng ating current society, so ito, ay, ito yung mga naglalabasang mga bagong career ngayon. Now, even if you are fairly sure of a career choice, Take the time in high school to explore similar or even vastly different careers. Now, explore all your options, all your options, 
Dahil ang dami options actually. You have to examine your likes and dislikes and take a few um take a few career assessment test. Now, you can also consult your parents, teachers, and school counselor. Now, and ask the question if you can have any job right now, what would it be and why? So, kung ikaw ipapabiliin ng isang trabaho sa ngayon, ano ito at bakit? Sige nga, sagutin nyo nga ito sa inyong mga sarili. And don't let any barriers hold you back from finding the perfect career. Okay? So, this that is... Definitely tip number one. Take time to think about what you like to do, dream, and imagine ideal careers. And number two, you have to challenge yourself in high school, but don't overwhelm yourself. Huwag ka masyado magpa-overwhelm sa mga, sa, or sa mga choices. Yeah, right? So, kailangan mo mas i-challenge ang sarili mo habang ikaw ay nasa high school pa lamang. Because... This is a critical period in your life, di ba? Na kung saan talagang magdi-decide ka for your future. Just try to imagine your decision right now will definitely affect your life mga 10 years from now. So do do get the do get the most out of high school as possible when you can. Take the tough and challenging aspects of learning so you will gain more knowledge as a learner and you will value hard work better. Diba? So, huwag ka magpapasettle sa mas mga madadali. So, kailangan i-challenge mo ang sarili mo. Baka nandun ang, uh, baka nandun ka nabibilang or nandun yung mga interest mo, right? Hindi mo lang pa discover. Obviously, you will need to stay focused on getting good grades but don't put unnecessary pressure on yourself to avoid stress and burn out. Right? So, iba yung uh, chinachallenge mo ang sarili mo sa pinapahirapan mo ang sarili mo or stress mo ang sarili mo. Right? So, just challenge yourself but at the same time, manage your stressors. Um, avoid mo pa rin ito. Right? So, it means to say that you, while, uh, while learning, you are also having fun. Be sure to set aside time to do the things that you enjoy during your free time, okay? And uh, number three, you have to work, volunteer, otherwise gain some experience. Now, this is also very important because sometimes we do not consider this, right? We don't volunteer because we think that wala naman tayong makukuha doon, right? As with your education, the more you are exposed to different things, the more options will be open to you as you search out for career. So there are even growing numbers of internship opportunities for high school students like you, especially in senior high school. Now, if you can try to engage in meaningful, reasonable work and volunteer your time, talent, and, and treasure in and out of school, so you may, right? So you can volunteer for a job, you can uh, apply for in, an internship, okay? So anything that you that will give you an opportunity to gain new skills, right? So, from a practical standpoint, work experience looks good in college applicants. So, and on future job uh, applications and resumes. Now, mas maganda yun kasi may, may, may ilalagay ka na sa portfolio mo, right? So, on, on other benefit, if you're working in compensated part-time job, like spending money, right? So, meron kang... Um, meron kang additional income, right? So, bukod sa nagkaroon ka pa ng experience, nagkaroon ka ng experience, nagkaroon ka pa ng extra income. Now, just remember that school and grades have to come first. So, only work if you can balance your schedule and manage your time. So, you can have this summer job, mga internship, anything that will give you experience. So, you can... You can apply for it, you can do it, right? So, that's number three, okay? And, of course, we have here preparing for the digital ready uh, workforce or 4.0, industrial, industry 4.0. So, you do you know about this? So, how do we prepare for a digital ready workforce? So, what is education 4.0? Now, education 4.0 or 4.0 
essentially uses technology-based tools and resources to drive education. Now, the concept of remote students, massive online open courses, video chats or meets, voice calls, other, uh, among others, have become the norm in this age and time. Especially yet, this face-to-face -face classes, right? We are already practicing this education 4.0 for our uh, tertiary education. We're in, di ba? Nandito na yung uh, mga, on, may mga online courses na tayo, di ba? We have these remote classes, mga video classes, or mga video chats, or mga Google Meet, Zoom meetings, and all. So, uh, Education 4.0 is developed as Response Industry 4.0 in order to create terrain qualified professionals who are ready for a highly globalized and digital driven world of work so a good good thing about our education 4.0 so kung kayo ay merong mga online classes so this is a way uh, preparation uh, preparing you for this digital world or for this industry 4.0 so you will be trained diba how to be qualified uh, uh, professionals during this uh, era of computers. Now, hand in hand with Education 4.0, the concept of digital literacy. So, when we say digital literacy is a person's knowledge and competence about ways to express, to learn, influence, and advocate using dif the different available digital platforms. So, Diba? This is a form of uh, training you to become digitally literate. Okay? So, it means to say that you know how to operate computers. You know how to conduct online transactions. You, you know how to manipulate the world of work using these online platforms. Right? So, so those are the things that we have to keep in mind. So, that this... A very, this is a very lengthy discussion under this part, but as you know, these this are very, very important. These are things that we have to remember as, as a grade 9 student who is already planning for their future career.